I don't think he forgot anything that he went through. But I think he knows he's in a good place and we're here to take care of them. Whether they are big fans of daily interaction with as many people as possible or whether they want to live their most wild natural existence. Our largest main herd pasture is about 800 acres. So if he's having a friendly day and he wants to hang out, he can stay with us as much as he wants. And if he wants to go hang out in the back of the pasture and pretend like we can't see him, he gets to do that too. to blister their legs, just to get a little bit of a higher step. There's not a whole lot of respect for the horse. If HSUS had not done their undercover investigation and those horses weren't seized, he would have been severely scarred just from the amount of soaring and there's no telling what wasn't caught on video and what happened to him in particular. But there's a good chance that he would have died in that barn. They're just really dignified animals. They're sweet and they trust humans when they have no reason to. It's a surreal experience to be out here every day and take care of these animals in a way that's very individualized for them. It's just about keeping them healthy and happy in whatever way works for them. Pride's the kind of horse that digs his way into your heart and he runs in in the morning and demands breakfast on his schedule and he's just bright and bubbly and happy. You know, whatever stress I've got in my life, this horse doesn't need to handle. It's not his fault. But he will call you out on it. If you walk out and you're having a bad day and you're in a hurry, he's gone. You're, in, you're not gonna touch him that day. His story is just really sad and to think that a horse could go through the amount of abuse that must have happened in that barn and seen some of the worst in people and he still shows up in the morning bright and happy to see you. Makes you want to be a more forgiving human being. <laughs>